Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We've got a haul today because I went to the Farley Warehouse um, in Malden and I got some bits. I didn't actually get too much. It just looks loads in this bag because I have my jacket in it, etc, etc. If you want to see kind of what I saw, then go over to my Instagram because I would have already posted a reel. Um, I should a little come shop with me, nothing fancy. Um, but if you want to kind of see inside the warehouse and how it all how it looks then you can go and check that out but for this video we're just going to do the haul portion so when i'm filming this it is that the 28th or 27th uh, i think it's 27th or 28th i don't know 28th let's say of jan um so we're getting towards valentine's day so i'm definitely in the red mood especially because red's kind of trending at the moment still i'm still in that red hype which you'll kind of see in this haul um and plus i it's still cold so you'll see that trend a lot as well so let's just dive in in no particular order so in the farley hospice warehouse it's more or less everything isn't individually priced it's just like all tops a pound all dresses two pound etc etc so this top would have been a pound um and to be fair is this my size no but do i have these in every size i think so um this is just a primark um this is a size 10 to 12 but as you can see it's super duper stretchy and it's just like a high neck um a high neck top i've been wearing these more or less every day and in fact i went to put on one this morning and i didn't have any because they're all in the wash um, i'm wearing these all the time because it's just cold um and I'm liking to layer at the moment. So I've been wearing these more or less every day. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna pick that up. As I say, it is too small size-wise, but I'm hoping it'll be okay. I do have these in lots of different sizes and I feel like they do fit. So we're all good. They're super stretchy and they're soft. Um, it is a bit bobbly. I might get my D-bobbler on it, but for a quid, why the hell not? Um, and yeah, I'm just liking to layer these underneath stuff at the moment. So I'm really glad I've got another one of them because yeah, I'm just wearing them all of the time. Here is the little turtleneck. Um, it fits completely fine. Um, it's very warm though, so it'd be good for keeping me warm. But uh, yeah, we'd definitely be a winter only. But yeah, it's really nice with these trousers. Again, you can't really see because it's just a black blob. But And on layering, I just got this top, which is a pound. This would be layering for a different reason because this is not going to keep me warm. Um, oh, there's a little... Oh, it's fine. There's something on it, but I think it's just a bit of... A little twig. There we go okay this is a pound and it's just this little mesh top but with a lace collar and lace cuffs now i just thought this was so sweet and could really add something to an outfit um i do also think i could wear this with just like a cute black bra underneath and that'll be really nice but i do think i'll probably layer this more often than just wearing it solo and i just think this with a cute little even with the leopard print dress i got in my most recent haul that would be really sweet um i just think anything layered over this would look amazing it's by a brand called itchy that's not a great name i c h i maybe it's not itchy um and it's in a size large and i just thought that would be really nice to layer stuff on top of to wear out on like a night out with like a cute bra underneath maybe in fact my black maxi skirt a cute black bra and this could look like really really lovely um but yeah, I also feel like I could layer like a like a work shirt over the top of this and just have the collar point but like, peeking out. It's just a way of making a boring outfit look a bit more exciting. Um, I thought like I would just be wearing this a lot. I think it's just really cute and a bit unusual. Like I've not really seen much stuff like this. Like I see a lot of mesh tops and I see a lot of lace, but I don't see a lot of mesh and lace. And I quite like that combination. So I'm very happy with that. You know, I'm very happy. This top, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it too well because of the lighting, but. It's really cute. I actually really like it just like this, actually, with uh, black trousers and a black bra underneath, but also could layer on top. Um, I feel like I'm feeling a bit chaotic, like Hannah in her most recent haul, which might not be the most recent haul when this goes live, but uh, Hannah did a haul the other day and it was just so funny. She really made me laugh. She is a comedy icon. Um, then the next thing I got, which is actually the second to last thing, is this Cozzy. So this is a size 16. It's originally, oh, it's just Boohoo. Now, I'm not sure how these... It's got these little tie things, which I assume just tie at the front. But you know what? I could be wrong. So basically, it is just a strapless bikini. And I say, yeah, it's got these tie bits. I'm not sure where I'm meant to tie these. I don't think it's up, but it could be up. It could be behind. I don't know. You could probably do it any way you darn well please. But I have a strapless red um, cosy that I absolutely love but it's fading so far. So I got it from a Haven Sausage Outlet and it was two quid, like amazing bargain. But yeah, it fades every time, like every summer. 
and my mum borrows it I wear it a lot and it's just a really lovely sewing cosy but as I say it is fading and I fear it may be on her last legs um which is super duper sad unless I could can you really dye a cosy I just don't feel like dye would take so well to a swimming cosy let me know in the comments um but yeah I think you're probably meant to tie this tie a bit like that um so it kind of goes over your chest but you know what it's a really basic but really nice cosy and I like things like this strapless so I can tan um so yeah I just thought that was nice it looks really quite high leg it also looks really quite big um but I don't know it says it's a size 16 but it looks it looks quite large catch me this not fitting me and I'm like it looks so big um I got a swimming costume I don't know how I babbled on that long about a quasi it doesn't fit i was right when i said it's too baggy so without this tied up like it literally i'm not gonna flash you but if i ran it would fall down and it's i could fit about 10 me's in here it does not fit um then finally oh no not finally oh i got something else okay i'll show you this first because this is arguably more interesting what the last thing is so this dress was two pounds and you know what this reminds me of it reminds me of the dancing lady emoji and i feel like secretly every girl's goal in life is to look like the dancing girl emoji because think about a red frilly dress that just fills my heart with joy um so i got one and it is originally a bhs number um i think she's a size 16 and yeah she's just kind of a basic shape but has got this frill down the middle which kind of gives her a bit of sight and something i'm hoping this will make my figure look nice um and i feel like this would be a nice one for you know a little holiday meal out i'm thinking um i just really like it and um, i did try on a red a red dress the other day i think i filmed it in fact i'm almost certain i filmed it it was in havens in the south Woodham store and i tried on a red dress and i wasn't like 100 percent sold on it it was it was too small and um was kind of a stretchy bodycon fabric and i did really like it but i was thinking about me think about it, it made me not buy it and maybe it was because i knew this one was waiting for me again i might try this on and it not even fit but I think it's cute and I'm I'm excited to wear it and I feel like it'd be a nice a nice one for a holiday. I like this, but it looks a little bit big. Um I don't know. I could probably get Penny to take it in this midge, but then would I be able to get it on? Probably not. Because it's got no Because it's not really it's got a bit of stretch. Well yeah, I don't think it has got stretch, I think it's just big. I don't know, also the boot pockets are significantly too small. And now we're gonna finish on something really quite boring but to me it's not boring because i've looked for one of these for ages in the charity shop and have not had any success so i love a camembert this is starting strange i know i love a camembert and i'm a favorite thing to do christmas i only really eat my christmas but i just think they're so nice and i love them especially with garlic bread not like i can eat them with garlic bread anymore but i love it and i actually did pick dip pigs and blankets in my camembert i'm really sorry vegans oh it's so good so but I might need to try some veggie sausages dipped in it because then no, they'll be at least veggie. Anyway, anyway, um, my mum broke my camembert dish quite a while ago. And ever since then, I've been doing them in like, we've got these little square dishes that's just too big for a camembert. It just explodes everywhere because it's not the right size. So mum saw this and like jokely, like as a joke, showed it to me. And I was like, that is exactly what I need. And she's like, no, you don't. And I was like, yes, you broke mine. It is two pounds. And is a two-piece Brie Baker set. Oh my god, a caramelized onion topping mix it, it's included. I really hope that's not in here because this looks old. And uh, that camera, the caramelized onion thing would have gone off. This is really quite bougie. And it is the exact size for... Oh, this looks quite big. But you know what? I do, I do think actually this is the right size. Um... Lid not recommended for dishwasher, microwave, or oven. Okay, so you can't use the lid in a in the oven, which is strange. Anyway, it's a little, it's a little dish. Um, it's not too much to say about it. I can confirm the caramelized onion topping is not in there, which is good, which is good. But yeah, she's really sweet, and there's nothing wrong with her, and I feel like it'll be nice for my camembert. What an anti-climax! But this is something I really needed, and you know, it just goes to show that sometimes the charity shops can come through with things that you actually do need. And you know what? We do still have a camembert spare from Christmas, so I think my lunch maybe a camembert. Um, but yeah cute and it comes in this little box but that's everything i picked up from the farley hospice outlet if you haven't been there definitely go and check it out um 
I reckon it's stuff where their rotated clothes will go or like their rag stock that they'll check through for um kind of sell because the stuff is quite basic in there normally but then you get these random like really fun things which is like worth it um so it's definitely worth a look around um but it's one of the things you, like don't expect to go in and find like massive amounts of stuff but then I say that I definitely have done before. So maybe do, maybe go in with the highest expectations ever. But basically it's cheap. You can get good stuff in there. Quite a lot of vintage stock. Um, in fact, quite a lot of vintage stock. I feel like vintage stock doesn't always sell in the main shops and like their core shops because it's quite specific. Whereas if someone comes in knowing what they want, I feel like it quite often ends up in outlets. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. That was really rambly and I'm sorry. I'm in a rambly mood. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.